being the manufacturer of these composite sinks is to wipe the sink out after each and every use. Wipe it dry. The reason is, if you get a drop of water on, on the sink, say that right there, if I allow that to just dry, well, the water will eventually evaporate and the minerals are left behind and they'll leave water spots there. Those are, that's like calcium and magnesium, right? And that's what doesn't just wipe out easily. And uh, so you'll have to use some sort of texture or a solution that's either high or low on the pH scale to be able to remove those. People will start off using a textured pad or a doodle, just something, even if it's marketed as a non-scratch. Uh, it's too abrasive for these sinks to apply a lot of pressure or uh, to scrub too often with it. This sink is is pretty dry. Just saturate the sink. You know, if you have a heavy buildup, I'd let it sit for about 15 minutes or more, just keeping it moist. And when it starts to dry out a little bit, spray a little bit more on there. It's not going to hurt anything. Is it's low on the pH. And what you, what you may or may not know, pH neutral cleaning solutions are not capable of removing any type of minerals. So dishwashing soap stone cleaners will have no effect but people start they start to use these non-scratch pads now if you don't really have any buildup on the sink you can use the soft side of the sponge and just rub it like that the solution is powerful enough to remove soap scum and mineral deposits it's going to break down lift and remove grease and oil so if you have a sink that you've used an oil on in the past, well, firstly, that's a, that's a sign that you have superficial damage because it looks good when it's wet or it looks good when there's oil on it. So if we're using this for the heavy buildup, it's very important not to use too much pressure, okay? Lightly rub it. And it's okay if you put very little pressure and you just lightly agitate the surface. And that's what we would recommend if you've got a, a, a buildup on there. Just kind of like that. Little to, you know, hardly any pressure at all. And you're going to be fine. A deep clean and protector is a two-step process. This is deep cleaning it right here with the scum and mineral deposit remover. And you, you, you repeat this process several times until there's no change between applications. It's going to look pretty good when it's wet. And I'm rinsing it. You want to neutralize the surface. That's why a good thorough rinse is, is important. Okay? And when you're finished with this part, dry it off a little bit. Right? Now, if, you're, if your sink has superficial damage, it's going to look good when it's wet, but not so good when it's dry. And if that is the case, you'll know it while doing step one. What you'll want to do is use the new vibrants. Now, in many cases, these sinks are going to have a little bit of a chalky haze at this point, maybe after doing step one. So step one, using the scum and mineral deposit remover, and when the sink is dry, if you start to have a little bit of a white haze or something along those lines, it would be meaningful to use the new vibrance. It, this is a trimy size of the new vibrance. I happen to put it in a, a bigger bottle here. Um, to do this, just Spritz the new vibrance on the sink. It smells good. And then uh, so I'm going to use a new sponge. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread it, right? You want to do the whole sink. 
If your sink has superficial damage, you know, there's going to be different levels of superficial damage. And um, so if your sink is actually pretty bad, you may not notice a whole lot of change after one application, but there'll be a, a more noticeable change after two applications and, and, and an even more noticeable change after three. You have enough in this Try Me bottle to do it several times. If you, if you do say two or three applications or maybe it's more, uh, but it stops getting better between each and every application, well that's the sign that that's as good as it's going to get. If your sink is in good shape, We'll take the Supreme Surface Granite Quartz and Marble Treatment from here. Each bottle comes with an induction sealed leak proof cap. And it's quite easy. You just take the stem, you push it through, just like that, and you screw it on. Right. And, um, and you're basically ready to go. All you're going to have to do is prime it. I'm going to prime it. You can't use too much of it, right? I And I'm being liberal with it. I'm using probably um, considerably more than I have to. But for demonstration purposes, it's going to work out pretty well. I simply just spray it on the sink or spritz it on the sink. Kind of go around the perimeter. If you have granite quartz, a laminate, anything of the sort, don't worry about it. The product was actually uh, developed in the early stages for granite and uh, we gradually moved into quartz and marble this product it, it does contain IOSEAL and that's what's very meaningful with this so you, you, you spritz it on and then you take the microfiber that it came with and you just give it a quick wipe down right there's nothing to it this is all you have to do it is a cleaner but it's neutral so it can't remove the water spots but once the treatment is on, on the surface of all this, the IOSEAL, we call it IOSEAL because it ionically bonds a protective barrier to the surface that's going to stick to it like a magnet. And what you'll notice is it gets really smooth. But the IOSEAL will add a little bit of vibrance and, and, and help your sink reflect a little bit of light so it adds some shine to it. But with these sinks, as well as say quartz or granite or marble, the IOSEAL formulated with a cleaning solution, when you spritz it on and you wipe it off, the IOSEAL remains behind and it's sticking to it. It's ionically bonding to the surface, which means it's sticking to it like a magnet. And when that IOSEAL builds up on the surface, now when the sink, uh, when if you don't wipe your sink out after every use or if you don't dry it out after every use um, the water will still evaporate the minerals will still stick to the surface but unlike without the IO seal you'll now just be able to wipe them out with a wet sponge and you don't have to use the texture and that's very meaningful for your sink. Marble treatment you can get it in this 8 ounce which comes in an all-in-one box with about everything you need or you can also get a 24 ounce uh, bottle of it which is about the best value and using this some people find it to be easier just pull it off the 24s also come with induction seal leak proof caps you just stick that on screw it on there and to use this you just put it to spray or stream. This is stream right here. And uh, I find it to be a little bit easier, but it does consume a little bit more product. It's quick. You can spread it any way you'd like. You can spread it with a microfiber or uh, you could spread it with a, um, a paper towel. This one is what I wiped the sink out with earlier. I'm just gonna wipe the sink down with it.
So this is why the, the product itself says that it's going to clean, polish, and seal all in one. So it's everything you need in one bottle. Now just, it, this is fine to let it dry like this, but I want to keep moving. So I'm going to help it a little bit. And um, I don't think I ever did this back area. <clears throat> just wipe the sink dry. And you're in good shape. The IO seal that's inside these products makes it very unique. It, it ionically bonds, so it sticks like a magnet to a surface. In this case, it's a composite sink, but it will do the same thing to quartz countertops and marble, as well as granite. So unlike a wax that will continue to build up, this is self-leveling and it will never build up. This also helps protect against UV rays. In this case, um, we have big windows in front of the sink. And um, this, if these were or quartz countertops, that would not be a good thing because darker colors you'd probably notice fading over time in this area. But the UV ray protectant in the IO seal helps reduce your exposure to that. So it makes the surface smoother. It can make colors become a little bit more vibrant. It can add a little bit of sheen, but it, it, it has limitations. It's, it's just there for the care and maintenance of something that's in decent shape.